Hello and welcome to a short demo. Today I would like to show you something on the Datacake platform, how you can use Node-RED uh, without the Datacake nodes to bring lots of measurements at the same time to Datacake and you can also use that on any other kind of API device like Python script, JavaScript, whatever. So first of all, let's go here into our workspace and create a new API device. I'm going to select API here, next, and then I'm going to create a new product. Uh, new product, sorry, and we call this API ingestion demo product. Next, auto generate serial number and the API ingestion demo product. Yes, I'm going to add this device to my workspace now. Um, there is the API ingestion demo product. Um, sorry, I should have named this device. Let's change this really quickly, 01, save it. And that's all we need to do for now. So let's first of all go into the configuration. Oh, we are already in the configuration. And let's scroll down a little bit until we reach to the HTTP payload decoder section. In here, you can see an HTTP endpoint URL. And this is actually the um, ingestion endpoint of this product where all of the devices are added to, uh, the devices we just created. And this endpoint triggers this payload decoder. So we are going to copy this now. Um, and this is one of my uh, Node-RED instances here from uh, our Cake-RED integration. You can use that on your Node-RED or on your devices or within Python scripts. So I'm going to use this Cake-RED integration in here. And you could use that on the Node-RED, which is running on your um, device. Let's search for HTTP. Because what we are going to do is we are going to fire an HTTP request to this endpoint URL. Double click on it, method, post, URL. We simply paste this in here. Yes, we can enable SSL, simply go through it, update. That's all we need to do. Uh, we can skip authentication now um, and just leave everything like it is. Click on done. And then of course also we probably want to see if the request was successful. And this is basically what we need to um, fire up this HTTP request. However, we also need some payload. And for this, I'm going to use the function node. And also a, um, forgot the name, a inject node to trigger a message and combine them all together. And I'm going to write some demo code, which we are going to forward to the Datacake API. For this, I've been using my good old friend ChatGPT and asked him to create a fake random JSON that includes sensor data. And this is what we're going to use now. So back into Node-RED and let's call this um, data is and then paste the ChatGPT generated things. So what you can see here on the structure is that we have lots of measurements like temperature, humidity, pressure, acceleration, gyroscope, whatever, and also a serial number. And instead of using data kick nodes and using a data kick node for uh, any of those here, we can now combine all of these measurements into a single call and then send this to the data kick API. Let's leave it like it is. Click on done. Oh, sorry. Of course, uh, I need to also assign the payload, done, deploy. And what we can do now is um, put into debug and then click on timestamp, uh, the inject node here. And you can see there's thanks coming up. That means that Datacake has received um, the payload. So let's go into Datacake and check out. On Datacake, back here in the section, we can scroll up a little bit. And we can see here, there is a button which is show logs. And when we click on this, this will show all incoming data over that URL. And we can see already here, this is um, the payload that we've been sending through um, the Node-RED, which is exactly the same like serial number ABC123. And we can check it once more, ABC123. If you don't see the logs in here, uh, once click, please once click on reload and then scroll down again, click on show logs. I'm now going to copy the whole string and paste this here into the payload decoder. Because the next step is now that we need to provide a payload decoder to extract all these informations and route this onto the device. 
we can click on try decoder here. And as you can see, nothing happens because the payload decoder provided here is still uh, in its default. And I also asked uh, ChatGPT to provide a payload decoder for data cake. And he was so kind that he wrote a payload decoder, which works on data cake actually for me. So I'm just basically copying it and then pasting it in here. And if I hit try decoder once more, we can see, oh, things are coming up in here. And what we see now is that, um, yeah, there is some output. And actually, um, the payload decoder section was also recognizing measurements. These are the measurements here, exactly like how they are structured in here and um, decoded by the payload decoder. Um, for example, the humidity is at 53.2. I can um, change this here in the... Um, and the simulation to 67.3 and click on try decoder and then you can see um, the humidity goes to 67.3. Okay, you can also see that these fields here are now marked red and if I hover over them it says add field. So yeah, this is something that we need to do and let's start by humidity and simply add the fields. Pressure, acceleration, acceleration Z, and there must be acceleration x and if i click on try decoder now something happens which says device not found and this is because we created a couple of fields here on the database section not all of them but just a couple of them and then if i simulate it once more it says serial uh, it says um, device not found and this is because the payload decoder that you see here and the URL are like a unique object. It's just existing ones and you can add multiple devices to it, to the product. And the routing takes place based on the serial number, uh, which is extracted from payload serial number, which is that one here, ABC123. And then also here in um, the fields that we are returning back to the DataCake API, we have device, um, device. So the device is the serial number ABC123. Thing is though, that here on API configuration, the serial number is set to B3 whatever, so like a unique ID. And what we can do now is we can click on change and I'm going to provide ABC123. Save it. And we are now matching the device serial number on data cake to the device serial number here in the payload. And we are extracting the payload and routing it exactly to that serial number. And if I click on try decoder now, it does find the device now. And it also can, you also can see that some of these fields are added and some of these fields um, yeah, are still marked red. We could now go ahead and click here and yeah, um, add these fields. But what I can also do is save. Don't forget to save. And then I can run the simulation once more. Simulate it. Data has been sent to Data Cake. We can see that the first um, fields have been our uh, data has been received for the first fields and data is being recorded. But then there is now also a suggested fields section, and the decoder was forwarding fields which were not created yet. Same as here under um, the simulation, and you can see them here. And for example, if we go in here and add a new field like um, CO2 and also uh, power, for example, 3.242, done, deploy, send it, and reload once more. We can now see that CO2 and power also appears under suggested fields. And now you can go at saying like, okay, power, uh, I want this field to be added to the platform. CO2 as well. Um, this is an integer. Um, we could also provide a role in here, like for example, primary at this field. Um, yeah, and now you can go ahead and click here on any of those. I admit there's something missing, like a button, like import them all of all at once. But the thing is that we are doing auto suggestion for the type. And if you provide, for example, like latitude and longitude field, you probably want to change the field to a geocoded field. So. I'm just going through all of them. They are now added to um, the database section. And let's go back to node red once more. We hit the simulation button. Data has been sent to data cake and reload once more. We can see that, um, yeah, all of these fields have recorded data. 
Um, so data has arrived and the decoder was decoding um, the data. So we can now go ahead to the dashboard and then also start working on adding some widgets in here. Value widget. I'm just doing some basic things. Um, no aesthetical design of the dashboard, just clicking around in here. And yeah, and so on. And you can see that the data is already here in the platform. There it is. We could also now modify the data once more. Click on deploy and then send the data to Datacake. Request is running. We can see the data has been updated. So yeah, that's it. That's how you are able to use our API uh, integration to send multiple measurement values at once, also providing a serial number and then using a standard uh, data cake uh, payload decoder to extract this information and route it into the corresponding fields. Um, there's some more things like configuration fields, which you could use for authentication. So you can uh, basically write your own authentication routine here in the payload decoder and provide extra authentication um, via the um, HTTP call. And yeah, it's up to you. Um, this yeah was just about to show you how easy it is. And no matter if you are using our own Cake Red, your own Node Red, or um, like a Python script or JavaScript or even C++ script on a small microcontroller to send out data, this works the same way. Um, I'm going to provide these two snippets here as well. You can find them in the video below. Um, as a link to a GitHub gist. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.